All right, fifth grade, we are going to be making a loom today for weaving. And we're going to be learning about warp and weft. Um, your paper is gonna be black. I'm gonna use this light brown paper so it's easier to see in the video. Um, but the first thing we need to do is take your Sam Gilliam inspired artwork um, and we're going to make strips of paper out of it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, you're gonna fold it in half. Then you are gonna fold it in half again. And then you're gonna fold it in half again. So that's three times folding, all hamburger style. And you can unfold it after that. So once again, fold in half, one, two, three times. These lines you just created with the folds are going to be where you're gonna cut it. This is going to be our weft, the part that we are going to weave in and out. So you, the next thing I want you to do is take your black paper and you are gonna fold it once, hamburger style. After you do that, you're going to, on the open end, fold about an inch of it over. So it's gonna be kind of like an envelope. So the two open sides, fold it over. So it should look like this. Half, big space, and then a little kind of edge. Go ahead and turn it so that way the main big fold is facing you and the open end is facing away from you. We're gonna be making our warp, the part that goes up and down. I'm gonna show you a simple way to do this. Sorry if that was kind of loud. And then I'm also gonna show you a more complicated way. So I'm gonna make two, you only need to make one. No matter which way you're gonna do it, we're going to draw some lines to guide us. So on the folded edge facing you, you're gonna draw, find the middle and do a little line. You're also gonna do another line directly above it that matches. That's gonna be a cut that stops at this folded area. We're gonna make two more on both sides. So we're going to end up with six strips of paper. So what I like to do is I take my fingers and I put them on the edge, spacing them so I have one, two, three spots. Put a mark where my fingers are. Same thing on this half, put my fingers where I have one, two, three spots. Put a mark where my fingers are. You can do the marks up here too. So kind of just Find generally where they are, they don't have to be perfect. All right, so if you wanna keep it kind of simple, what you need to do is you need scissors and you're going to cut, or this is the folded ledge to this other dot. You're not gonna cut past this fold gonna cut, stop there, cut, stop there, cut, stop there, cut, stop 
there, cut, stop there. So it'll end up, when you unfold it, being a loom where we weave things in and out. If you want to make a more complicated design, the rule is that you can draw lines that are parallel as long as they start here and end here and don't go off the edges. So let's say I want to do a kind of curvy line. They all have to be the same curve. So maybe I'll go this way, this way, and then hit there. These lines should be parallel, which means this should be the same distance away from each other. And then I can go ahead and cut these lines on the line. Once again, still stopping at that top part. Then you have your loom, a little different shape, but still works the same way. This is the warp, the part that goes up and down, and we will be weaving things in and out of it. So when you are ready, we're gonna start cutting our weft. So you're gonna take your Sam Gilliam inspired paper, and we're going to cut a strip off of it on the folded line. cut one at a time because I don't want a ton of papers just floating around. I like to have my loom so that way um, it is easiest to get underneath so I kind of like to have it face up like this where it's a little bit of room under it so I can push it down. But remember weaving is going to be a checkerboard pattern so you start on top of your first one. I'm starting on my right then you go under the next one. It's an AB pattern, so it has to alternate. Above, under, above, under, until it reaches the edge. Then I need to scoot it up so it is tight on my loom. So I scoot it with my fingers, like that. I also like to glue the ends so they don't move. So you can do that. Because it's a checkerboard pattern, the next strip will go opposite. So it will be under here, but over here. I like to just go from the opposite side and just always start over. So instead of going from this way, I'm gonna start over from my left side. Over, under, over, under, over, under, there we go, and scoot it up. So that way it looks like a checkerboard and these corners touch. The third one is going to be just like the first one because it alternates back and forth. So this one I started on this side, this one I started on this side, this one I'll start on this side again. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Scoot it up so it looks like a checkerboard. And optional but really helpful, glue those corners down. So that is the weft, going in and out, creating this pattern. Let me show you what it looks like on the wavy one. It's the same, but instead of it being complete checkered, it's gonna be a little bit, well, wavy. 
So we'll do it the same way. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Scoot it up. Start on the other side. I could have also guessed made these strips uneven too. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Scoot it up, make it tight on the loom. Be a little more difficult with the wavy. But see, our corners still touch. Kind of looks cool that way. one over under over under okay continue until you cannot fit anymore on your paper Last one might be kind of tough. Just take your time. Try not to rip the loom. And there you go, there's our Sam Gilliam inspired weaving.